let us continue the series on questions and answers about the triagnosis program on the topic of self realization number 12 all is me this is true love then why is there only hatred in everyone why is there no love in the world if all are one how is everyone's behavior different very innocent question but shows a complete lack of understanding everyone means people humans creatures and they are obviously different their bodies are different their minds are different the impressions in their minds they are different their behaviors are different what is the one thing which is common for everyone that is their essence that is one and same that is truly me the essence is the witness the essence is the experiencer and it has uh, no body no mind no impressions no behavior no thoughts no feelings no emotions it is very very pure if you want to know who you are then that is what you are and the rest is body mind machine and yes there are many kinds i have no kind i have no qualities it is a pure being and that is what is the background of whatever is happening whatever you call love is simply a pattern of behavior or emotions in people which is illusory fleeting momentary the true love or whatever we call spiritual love also called unconditional love is not a feeling emotion or a behavior of some certain kind it is my very nature i don't do love i am love my essence is love the definition of love here is being one all are one and that which ordinary people call love is simply give and take some kind of business like or dislike and it can change love and hate are actually one two opposites of the same experience just like heat and cold are two opposites of the same experience that is duality so there will be all shades of it but that is false that is an illusion and uh, since this body mind thing is completely false an illusion whatever it does or whatever it thinks or feels is completely an illusion so yes there is hatred there is all kinds of behavior there but it does not matter because it is not me and obviously this body mind creature suffers and that is also not my suffering do people know all these things and the obvious answer is no the person who was given the diagnosis program managed to miss the teaching as this question shows so what can we say about ordinary ignorant people they do not know their true nature they do not know who they are and this ignorance is the cause of hatred the ignorance is the cause of stupidity among them if everybody knew this thing the situation will improve a little bit i am saying little bit because of practical reasons it is impossible that everybody will behave in one way exactly in one way like a robot like a machine even the machines don't behave in one way not only humans even animals don't behave in similar way they have their own personalities that is because there are different kinds of impressions inside them in their minds but at least can't they behave in a good way minimally nice way there can be many opinions about this and my opinion is no that is also impossible what is appearing in front of your eyes is an illusion which is simply manifestation of infinite potential when we say infinite potential it must by necessity include all kinds of possibilities otherwise we won't call it infinite potential it won't remain infinite if only one thing appears one kind of behavior one kind of feeling appears in everybody so because it is whole and complete in every aspect that which is appearing is infinite and it must be like this it is the all so it is impossible that only one kind of appearance will be there which you like personally which this person body mind likes that is uh, ignorant thought yes you can convert people into the kind that you like locally in a small area it will remain for a short duration of time and then because everything is impermanent everything changes back to absolute perfection it balances out so what is already here 
all possibilities are being manifested is actually perfection that perfection is nothing but me so there are two beliefs here first that uh, it was told that everybody is me or their essence is same but this essence has different impressions different qualities and it is doing different things its conduct is totally different but it was not understood that essential nature is uh, qualityless it is pure it is not a person it does not have a behavior or conduct it is simple witness pure witness it simply illumines whatever is happening and the second ignorance or belief here is what i think is perfect my preferences are somehow better than what is being manifested in the infinity of existence so not only this is ignorant this is very narrow point of view perfection means there will be everything perfection means you cannot add anything extra in it and you cannot remove anything from it it is perfect as it is that is how this existence is and it is nothing else it is you next question is i am neither able to do anything nor do i feel any happiness or sorrow so am i lifeless because the teaching is that my real nature is uh, without any qualities and there are no feelings there are no thoughts it is peace and bliss so it sounds like completely lifeless like a rock so i am completely lifeless you are saying so here also a little bit of misunderstanding about the meaning of life what is called life full lively secondly even a rock has some activity even a rock has some qualities like hardness or color or shape but the experiencer is worse than a rock from the point of view of the person who is asking this question even the rock has some life there are atoms and molecules that are reacting vibrating it makes sound it can be seen but the experiencer does not have even that so very disappointing indeed that what is my real nature is not what we usually think it is not something miraculous amazing amusing it is simplest of all however people are used to call things that move that make sounds that talk that walk that reproduce and eat as living what will happen if we remove the ability to witness or ability to experience from these so called living things remember this ability is called the experiencer which is your real nature what if we remove the essence or the real nature from these puppets that are believed to be living things including humans and anybody any intelligent person will see that they will become lifeless or they will move and talk and whatever but it will be like a machine actually they are a machine that's why we call them body mind machines body mind creatures they don't have any life a human being a plant an insect and a rock they are all same they are all lifeless he has put the ability to perceive and experience now it is alive otherwise it is simply a fake copy of living thing without the experiencer you can use other words like soul without the soul there is no life without the spirit nothing can be living the good news is everything appears in me and therefore everything is alive it cannot be anything else but alive so i am the life it is paradoxical because it is not as per your beliefs these beliefs were simply some kind of indoctrination ignorance there's that these uh, puppets of bones and meat and blood they are life no they are inert matter whatever are thoughts and feelings and, and emotions you experience as the experiencer are processes in that matter in the brain or mind or whatever we want to call it just because it is it is moving and talking does not make it living the real life is the essence in it so if something seems to be moving or acting or has memory tendencies the likes and dislikes feelings and emotions does not become alive it takes the witness to give it a life 
and you can say only the witness is alive nothing else remove it everything is dirt inert matter so it is amazing what kind of beliefs people have what is the depth of their ignorance immeasurable next question is what should i do after self realization and strangely this question is asked just after people are told you are not the doer i am not the doer so what should i do now <laughs> so that which you are does nothing it is simply an observer simply the witness so who is the doer this body mind it does whatever it does it does exactly that for which it is made in other words you can say it does exactly that which it is programmed to do that program is called impressions in old language it is simply following its impressions that is what it will do what it does is mostly that which is necessary for its life to continue its survival and that is what everybody should do you are the witness you don't do anything and therefore there is no need to take on any kind of job after knowing who you are you don't give any work any burden of work to the experiencer probably it won't like it because it's so pure it cannot do anything and moreover it has no body no mind it's impossible for it to act action means some kind of change and i cannot change i'm immutable so once you know who you are this question of doing anything for myself should not arise and then there is this question of what should this body mind do and that is also a necessary question because it is already doing whatever it does body is doing whatever it does mind is doing whatever it does if there are no impurities and if there are no distortions in that there is no need to change it already that which is necessary or practical and natural is happening so if you want to change the behavior of this body mind machine then probably self realization is not needed it is an overkill you need only sufficiently intelligent person to remove the imperfections of the body mind and then it is happy it lives its life happily and disappears exactly that happens for which it is programmed this is mother nature after hearing this many people are satisfied they become silent yes everything is already perfect nothing needs to change whatever needs to change will change it's all okay but some are not satisfied no i got this great knowledge i know who am i so th- i need to do something to implement this knowledge in my life so a little bit of ignorance is there still because the situation was exactly like this before you knew who you are before also experiencer was not doing anything and the body mind was doing whatever it usually does after also nothing changed but probably some minds are curious and they are not satisfied so my recommendation is always ask your guru because who knows you will come up with some fantasy of doing something and uh, end up in some kind of trouble unnecessary suffering of some kind so your guru knows and that is called guru's command whatever the guru has told you to do do it if you if you are uh, so inclined if you choose to do that that will keep this body mind happy that will speed up its evolution it will uh, progress nicely if you decide to do something totally unnecessary and extraordinary simply because you came to know who you are only that much can go wrong if you remain what you are nothing is wrong if this puppet behaves in little bit imperfect way nothing is wrong there are all kinds of puppets already from the point of oneness you are all of them how many are you going to change and if you think no i am only this one it needs to change i am concerned with this one the rest are not me and that means knowledge has not really happened and this is a dangerous situation now probably it is more dangerous than ignorance so there is a belief that after knowledge i need to do something special or my behavior is not so holy so i need to become like a saint this desire can arise in this creature which is perfect is no harm there so do the needful if that is what is needed 
and it is very easy to do it find out what needs to be changed and change it obviously you won't be able to do a lot of changes in the body except make it a little bit more healthy and beautiful but you can do a lot of changes in the mind let go of unnecessary and that is also called purification and nobody should do it on their own always consult your guru follow guru's command that is what you should do after self realization next question is who is my creator so the teaching here is that uh, nothing can create the experiencer my here is pointing to the essence so i am not created the concept of creation and destruction does not apply to me creation means change there was something it changed in, into something else destruction also means change but since the experiencer cannot be changed there is nothing there to change nothing can create it and obviously it cannot appear out of thin air that will that appearance will be first of all an appearance it will be some kind of experience and that will also change and the ground on which this change was observed will be me so the experiencer is always uncreated background on which all kinds of creations can happen something is gets created something gets destroyed and that means it is impermanent it is some kind of experience to create something we need the raw material it can be matter it can be something exotic you can imagine anything then a change must happen for the thing which is being created to exist to come in being and there has to be a form so that finally we can say something was got created here it is so matter change and form are necessary for creation of something and uh, the experiencer has none of these so the concept of creation is not applicable in this case it is not an object that can be created so there is uh, no creation and there is no question of creator what about the experience part it is the same it is also uncreated and that which is assumed to be a creator will be another experience or you can say probably it is not an experience so it will be experiencer which is me if something is seen as creating something that will be an experience but i am not any experience and the experiencer cannot be created from any kind of experience or change because it will be changing thing if you can create one you can create many why stop at one why are there not many experiencers why nobody created many of them at least two are required so that they don't feel lonely it is one because it is the essence of the existence it is existence itself which is one whole all so it is not created it is not destroyed it does not go away it does not change it is the whole existence that is the teaching evidence has been provided for this teaching if it is not understood you will get these kind of questions in your mind the belief here is that i am an object or probably some kind of special extraordinary experience somebody must be responsible for creating this thing next question neither am i a living being nor is this my life then what is the meaning of my being alive so it is similar to the question of lifelessness so life means the period between uh, birth and death that is a good definition for this question so that which is born lives and then dies but i am not that so this is not my life in that which is which was alive and now dead is not me it's probably it has some purpose or meaning to do that but since that is not me that is not my life there is no question of asking a meaning of it you can assign any meaning to this process of life whatever you want to be happy to be free that is the default purpose and meaning of any life any living creature but that is also not mine i don't have a purpose i do not exist for a meaning my existence itself is meaning my being here is my purpose not doing something or not leading a particular kind of life as a biological form simply being is my purpose my purpose is to be and that is the whole meaning of being moreover 
the witness or the experiencer or myself does not interfere in the matters of these living things they are free to choose their own meaning which you must have seen they do nobody can uh, impose a meaning or purpose on their lives that will be some kind of slavery so they are already free to assign any meaning but the experiencer is not concerned it simply watches that kind of drama that is happening anyway whatever meaning is assigned or purpose is assigned to these puppets they all disappear new meaning appear new purposes appear they also disappear how many of them in finite varieties there so ultimately there are all the meanings and all the purposes they are all within me so it is a grand play never ending play now the word meaning loses its meaning the word purpose loses is purpose because these words are applicable to a very limited situation but i am limitless i am infinite i am all or none and all is none they are same the mind cannot understand these things so we say it is like a play why this is happening what is the meaning it is a play that is also not very satisfactory because play means uh, there is pleasure there is happiness there is adventure my life does not look like that many people will say so we can say play here means like a theater like a movie which has all the colors of a play there is happiness obviously there is suffering yes without uh, this kind of colorful story the movie will become really boring and meaningless obviously the meaning is derived from what happens in the movie it is not made for a purpose the purpose is entertainment you can say so the whole thing is whole life and death and this play is happening for entertainment purposes many people will not like it obviously so it is better to drop this concept of meaning and purpose which is applicable to very limited things and be what you are that is the purpose the belief here is that myself or the experiencer this witness must have some kind of use it must be there for some purpose there must be some meaning in being here because the ego or the mind cannot think about anything else it is programmed to think about everything like this it can only grasp objects and the objects have views objects have purpose probably they also have some meaning same for people but i am not any of these you can try to impose something on the experiencer but very quickly you will see that uh, it is meaningless it is meaningless to impose these things on something which is vast and infinite beyond intellect number 17 will i forget self realization after that still there is some identification with the body mind because it dies the death is not for you you are eternal and you don't have a memory you don't remember and you don't forget so the question is arising from a little bit of identification that i am this body mind it will die now i'm worried will i forget everything well the experiencer is not worried it does not matter for it what this creature is doing what it is remembering what it is forgetting whether that is alive or dead they are my forms probably it's not very important to remember anything it is important to be that's all is happening so obviously the one who knows what the essence is will not be there there is no question of forgetting that thing will not be there that is the meaning of death if something is there and there is a possibility of remembering or forgetting then it is not death it is still life there is something which is still alive so this question has uh, multiple dimensions of ignorance another dimension of this thing is that uh, realization is simply discarding what you are not that is already some kind of death letting go of the blind beliefs the assumptions that you had about what you are now let go of this belief also that death happens and it is mine forgetting happens it is mine does the clay pot remember that it was a clay pot after it breaks is it meaningful to ask that but before breaking it was clay after breaking it is still clay and the clay does not need to remember anything even if it remembers something it is not me many people will say that 
if this knowledge will ultimately disappear what is the need for this knowledge why do i need it and by i here they are pointing to the creature because obviously the experiencer does not need anything any knowledge so the answer is very simple we really don't need it if it is your life goal to know who you are you need it otherwise if if this creature is happy in its life nothing is needed and many of them are like this they don't really want to know all these things however you can give give this example of food you don't remember what you ate many years ago in breakfast you have completely forgotten it today so do we really need to eat anything because we are going to completely forget whatever we eat and the answer is no even if we forget it was necessary to eat on that day today also so the necessity determines if you really need to know who you are it is not worthy or worthless depending on whether it is remembered forever by something which does not last forever knowing yourself is of value right now right here do not worry if you forget it after that it is a meaningless thought do you want it now do you want to know now if that is necessary know it and be happy your mind is still thinking about future and worrying about forgetting and giving some kind of illogical reasons that i am going to forget it why should i know it so that is a bigger problem than than death and forgetting so belief here is that i have an experiencer some kind of mumbo jumbo somebody told me and uh, i'll die but probably it is important to know that mumbo jumbo even after this body mind is destroyed even, even after i die probably it is the biggest thing in the universe it is called enlightenment and i need to remember it somehow even after the body mind is gone so amazing feat of illogical thinking but it is possible to get these kind of questions because the indoctrination is very deep even after knowing fully that there is no death or birth for me the mind cannot resist thinking about its own death and birth and imagining scenarios like these it is already imagined its birth is also imaginary its death will be imaginary the whole time and world is imaginary does it really matter if forgetting happens it will be imaginary if somehow by some miracle this thing remembers some kind of knowledge after getting destroyed completely that will be imaginary illusion number 18 how to keep this knowledge and it is somewhat decent question because it is not so crazy that i want to remember it after death and again the answer is similar that do you like it do you love it do you love knowledge do you love enlightenment do you like self realization and a life full of the light of knowledge then it will happen automatically it will become your life not a part of life which you do some for some minutes every day or every week it will be your life and the other things will happen for some minutes once in a week so anyhow it is not necessary even if this knowledge goes away even if you throw it away you are still the experiencer that cannot be changed now but some people want this kind of life it's a spiritual life it has some good effects also sometimes so we prescribe the practice of witnessing also called awareness practice or mindfulness or there are many names which simply involves getting a habit of remembering who you are not letting go that which you earned probably after a long struggle in spirituality the good thing is if you know it once the chances of forgetting or throwing it away are next to nothing because you are it can you forget yourself for a while the old ignorance can come back especially in demanding situations where this person must act like a body mind instead of acting like a witness inert statue that is not practical so let go of the knowledge if it is needed it will come back it is like asking if i am a man how can i remain a man you can forget you are a man for few seconds few minutes but that does not change the gender into something else but how can i remember it always is it really needed 
whenever you want to act like a man the memory will come back you will remember i am a man now i need not act like a woman or somebody else this is a natural practice of witnessing if you are doing a lot of effort or you are doing a lot of actions to do this much and then something is really wrong like i said previously there can be impurities or some other issues in the mind because these this remembering and practicing and all these are mental actions but if you are in love with who you are if you are interested deeply in this knowledge this is your path this is your way of life then no practice is needed people usually forget or assume something else most probably because they are not convinced about this knowledge about self realization or any other spiritual knowledge they could not understand the proof the evidence was not sufficient they could not believe it they could not verify it so it is not really true for them and probably not very useful for them so it goes away and when the guru says that you should remember you should keep this knowledge then this obvious question arises how can i keep this knowledge i forget whatever you told me and the most common reason is they did not really know the knowledge did not happen the self realization did not happen and obviously there is no use for that useless knowledge for this creature it is dropped so no effort no action nothing there are no miracles there are no mantras to do this get the evidence get the proof if you love knowledge if path of knowledge is your path it will happen automatically we don't guarantee about death or after death as long as your mind is working body is working you will remember it whenever there is a need if you simply stop being what you are not which is the body mind that will be enough there is no need to remember all the logical arguments and all the sanskrit words and who said what and what is written in which book that is not called keeping the knowledge that is stupidity know what you are and do not let the ignorance get hold of you again how much effort will be needed to not touch a hot pan if you touch it by mistake so knowledge is like touching the hot pan it must be real the realization means it should become real and if it is real will you forget so memory is not a problem here recall is not a problem here the hot pan was not touched this is the problem still if you think that i am convinced i got the evidence it is real for me it is true for me still i forget then as we discussed before there are some ways to keep it not forget make this impression very very deep in your mind so that it keeps coming back resolve to remember have this very strong intention to not go back in ignorance there is no miracle cure it is the knowledge of what you are know what you are be happy next question is why is not everyone enlightened there can be many reasons but uh, the main reason i have seen is there is no desire in everyone to get this kind of knowledge they have never heard about these things also there is a almost complete absence of spiritual knowledge from the society in many countries or wherever there is it is in a distorted form of uh, superstition or religious practices people do not know the meaning of spirituality and there are many places where there are no teachers as soon as the teacher starts speaking the truth the society shoots the teacher kills the teacher this is the reality of this world so obviously not everyone will be enlightened people are happy with their beliefs if you try to challenge their beliefs the outcome is very dirty an ignorant person prefers blood bath instead of giving up their beliefs they are very strong so this is the one side of the coin which is not very bright but uh, there is a good news also that everybody is exactly there where they need to be everybody is progressing everybody is evolving but not everybody is evolving at the same speed or at same time so in the end everyone will get it but everyone will not get it today or this year this is a continuous process 
of evolution it is timeless it will continue like this we cannot do much about it secondly there is a ethical and uh, issue of free will that it is not ethical to impose so called knowledge on anybody people are free to do whatever they want if they don't want enlightenment it's very nice very good so all the great teachers they respect the free will of the human beings because anyhow they are all me so it does not really matter anyhow it is all play drama imagination dream it does not really matter so those who need it they are given every effort is made to enlighten that person you need to ask for it and you will receive it that much can be guaranteed a what about everyone nothing can be done it is already happening in a perfect way so come out of the pit of darkness that is the greatest service you can do to yourself and then your light will enlighten those who want it that is all can be done next question is how will i get more knowledge and this is usually asked after it is told that this is the last knowledge knowledge ends here after the knowledge of oneness there is nothing to know because it is the whole after you know whole of it so what more remains to know but still the mind goes back in its old uh, habit i am ignorant i don't know anything so the bad news is you will not know more than this you will not get any more knowledge this is the final knowledge everything that can be known has been known there is something called the illusion which is that which we are experiencing right now and in that illusion there is the illusory ignorance which you don't know it is not real ignorance there are some details of this illusion how everything works and what happens here and what happens there these are details if you want to know them obviously you will need to follow that kind of path follow that kind of guru teachers universities schools professions they are details of the illusion and that knowledge is not knowledge that is called science knowledge of the illusion knowledge of the illusion is also an illusion but totally depends on the interest of the student probably by this question the student is asking i am interested in knowing this self knowledge more thoroughly i want to know all the arguments all the logic all the ways to affirm this knowledge and yes then something can be done so there are many teachers in the world they are teaching all these things in their own ways search explore you will get only this much but probably in a better way probably in a more convincing more accurate way many people are doing it you are most welcome to explore and we are also doing it namely the essence of knowledge program which is a disciplined approach to the same thing same knowledge is taken but in a systematic and disciplined way and there are practices etc purification which which is the part of the essence of knowledge program if you are interested in the illusion it is not a wrong thing to do the science part is also very interesting however you will not know more you will know more details of the same thing you already got the big picture then you can zoom in into the details of that picture so many people teach that illusion it is also called science or occult so we are also providing this kind of knowledge in a very concise form and that is called the tantra bodhi program and it is also free and online just like all other services so those who are interested they should try exploring the experience part the illusion part and it is you only you are exploring yourself it is best to explore with this firm foundation of what is truth rather than diving totally into the illusion and getting lost there which many people have done they don't know the truth and whatever appears in front of them they think that is true ultimately it will cause uh, problems for this creature the student they do not progress so systematic progress systematic way is recommended but you will not know more than what you are because that is the totality already 